Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in the heart of Los Angeles mm -hmm. in a very special episode today. Yes. Are there any fans of Danny Trejos, the actor? Yeah, uh, he is a fan. Yes, yeah. one of my favorite movies is the Harold and Kumar, The Very Merry Christmas. <laughs> He's in it. Hilarious. <laughs> but he has a taco shop and he a does. donut shop. Yes, they're not connected. Uh -huh. Taco shop is in LA, donut shop is in Hollywood. Yes, right? right. So we're going to go visit both places. We're having our tacos and food first and then a little bit dessert later, huh babe? That is right. So uh, we are here, as you see from the sign behind us, at Trejos Tacos. So we're going to jump in and see what they have. And they just don't serve tacos. I mean, they serve tacos, but mm -hmm. other stuff too. And That's we're going right. to try out some of the other stuff. We will. Let's go. Look at these deals. They have a margarita Monday, which is really good. Taco Tuesday, which today just so happens to be a Tuesday. Right. But I think we're going to try some of the other stuff on the menu. We never know. Maybe we'll get a taco or two. We'll see. Here's the menu right here. This is what they're serving now. It's about almost 1030. This is the breakfast that they're serving now, but we're going to be waiting for the lunch. So this is the menu. And then this is the lunch menu that's served for the rest of the day. The one with little Trejo's head right next to it. Those right. are his favorite. Kind of looks like that. Uh -huh. So we're going to get like uh, one quesadilla, one bowl. We'll get one from the appetizer, of course, their tacos and the burrito. So we're going to have a good, a good selection mm -hmm. of what they're offering. We are. So here is, so you walk up to the register, you place your order, and then the food is delivered to you. This is the beef barbacoa taco. It comes with a lime and a few radishes. Look at how much meat they give you. That looks just delicious. Try this out here. Mm. Tortilla chips. Thinly sliced tortilla chips on top of that. I'm going to try it without any sauce. Let's go ahead and try this out. You can see nice looking in there. This is actually really delicious. The way it is now has a little bit of spice to it. It has, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like the beef that you would put, get in chili. Oh yeah, it tastes like the beef that you get in chili. So this is almost like that really good chili tasting beef that is in this taco. Now I'm gonna hit it up with some lime. Almost like a uh, stewed beef? Yeah, yeah, you know like this really good like Texas chili baby, mm -hmm. that beef in there? Yeah, This yeah. is what it tastes like. Let's hit it up with that lime right here. And it already has a good spice to it. So I don't think you would need to add any more sauce unless you want that really spicy stuff. So let's go ahead. Give this a bite. Now they do have mm -hmm. the self-serve hot sauces mm -hmm. as well as this on the table, the little picante. Heading up with that little bit of lime, it really livens it up. This is delicious. We got a little bit of the guacamole. Put that right in the middle of oh, this. Oh, that, that really looks good now. Oh, Look yeah. That. We're going to head now, mix. The, the guacamole is a add-on option. It's an add-on option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to mix this up. And this is the carnitas? This is the carnitas. This is the carnitas bowl. He has in here. Let's see in here. Oh, that's wow. all carnitas right there. Here's your black beans. Here is your rice. And here is your salad. And here's your corn. And then here is your salsa or your little like pico de gallo they have. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. Let me get this bite with a little bit of everything in here. Mm. Great flavors. Got carnitas here. They don't jump out on the meat. They give you a lot of carnitas. Yeah, that is a lot. They're nice. Sure. It's juicy, great pork flavor. Now this has a little bit of heat. This does have a little bit of a heat. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure where the heat's coming from. I know it's not coming from the carnitas. I'm not sure if it's from the guacamole or from the pico de gallo, but I'm pretty sure you can put that on the side of your, if you're heat sensitive, but this is amazing. So uh, mm. I see a pattern here. 
Danny likes it a little hot, mm -hmm. right? And um, we even have a little bit of sauces that we're going to try, but right now it doesn't need anything. Again, excellent. Excellent carnitas bowl. We got a side of corn. You see all the spices in there all mixed in already. I'm going to mix this a little bit on up. And you can see how fresh. Look at this. So you can tell it's not canned corn. This is straight off the cob. You can see how it's connected there. Let's go ahead. Now it's a little bit mixed up. Let's try this out. I love the little char on there too. Mm -hmm. It's mixed perfectly. A little bit of mayo, a little bit of the seasoning. It exactly tastes like the corn on the cob, the Mexican street corn on the cob that you would normally get without the cob. The corn is sweet, with that little bit of pepper in there. Gives that little savory taste to it. Wow, this is excellent. So uh, this so one, not, not spicy? Not spicy. No spice in this dish. I love quesadillas. This is about the size of like a slice of pizza, right? Look at that. No flop on this one. This is the the pollo fritas, mm -hmm, pollo the frito. fried chicken quesadilla. And I gotta be honest, I've never had fried chicken quesadillas before. Comes with two different dipping sauces. I'm not sure. This is more of a creamy ranch looking one. And this one, it looks definitely a little bit more spicier. But um, yeah, let me just try it without any sauces first. This is not your everyday quesadilla. Usually, it's just your choice of protein and cheese and tortillas. No, this one has some kind of vegetable crunch going on inside of here in a good way. This is delicious. Let me try with that little bit of that Chipotle ranch looking dip. <laughs> Look at that, a little piece of fried chicken in here. This is very tasty. I love the way that they have those little crunchy vegetables in it. Uh, looks like a little bit of coleslaw almost, mm. like a little bit of cabbage and stuff. With the fried chicken, with that cheese, nice tortilla as you can see, they put on the flat top, get a little bit, a little bit crispy. Wow, you know, so far, of the three that I had, this bowl, the bowl, the carnitas bowl, and the fried chicken quesadilla, almost neck and neck. Yeah, this is really, I have to try this one out there. Okay. What I like is all that melty cheese in there. Again, let me try it without any sauce. Mmm. Mmm. The fried chicken does taste like a fried chicken. It doesn't taste like grilled or anything like that. You can see there's a little bit of batter on that chicken. So it's definitely a fried chicken. I'm gonna try it with this red sauce. The red sauce is not spicy at all. What I like is as I'm chewing, you get the crunchiness of the vegetable and the crunchiness of the skin of that fried chicken. This is an excellent quesadilla. I don't know why everybody doesn't do fried chicken quesadilla. This is very good. For our last main, we had to get a burrito. And not only any burrito, but the steak asada burrito. This has some weight to it. It's a monster here. Let's open this up and see what we're working with. Oh, there we go. The unveiling. Oh, look at that. Look at the size of this. We have a knife here. We're going to cut this open and see what we have. Oh, just by grabbing the burrito, it, the tortilla is nice and soft. Okay, are you ready for this? Let me try to pick this up. Oh, look at that. I just see some black beans, some the steak asada. 
I'm just gonna go for a bite. My mouth is already watering, and we just had a lot of that, that carnitas bowl, the fried chicken, the quesadilla, and of course the taco. But here we go right there. Oh yeah, the asada is nicely marinated. You can taste that grill, taste on that meat. It has a great beef chew to it. It is not like, like flimsy kind of meat. This definitely tastes like a steak. And uh, it is, again, perfectly seasoned, marinated. Perfectly seasoned and marinated. You gotta love those black beans, the same ones that they put in that carnitas bowl. Let me put a little of the verde salsa on here for that next bite. Oh yeah, here we go. And there's rice too. This burrito is essentially like that bowl inside of a flour tortilla all wrapped up so one you eat out of a bowl and we one you could hold in your hand again if we if we talked up the bowl you know we're going to talk about this burrito it is delicious yeah an another winner i can see why this is uh danny's one of these recommended burritos very good that's a wrap from uh, Trails Tacos. That was delicious. It was. Yes. Now, of course, it's a little bit on the pricey side. It is, yeah. Yeah, but it, to me, it's worth it. Um, yeah. It's very fresh ingredients, and that's yes. what stands out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I mean, it was like, I forgot how much, $6 for a taco, and it was only one taco. It doesn't come with any sides or anything, mm -hmm. but the quality, the taste is there. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't do this, like, every lunch hour. I definitely... When I'm in the area, maybe stop by for a bite. Oh yeah, huh, for baby? sure. Mm -hmm. And I think you looked it up. They have uh, four locations. The four locations. There's uh, this one here, which is called Mid City. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, one in Santa Monica. There's mm -hmm. one at third, uh, our favorite, the Farmers Market area. Right. Their favorite one, and then there's actually one in Hollywood too. Yeah. Yeah. But we're heading now to Hollywood to go to but the trails. only location they have. Right. Trejo's Coffee and Donuts. Yes, that's, and so the one in Hollywood is the only location for Trejo's Coffee and Donuts for right now. You never know. No. Uh, as you see, uh, Mach, Mach 5. Any Speed Racer fans out there? I'm a big fan. He's a big, big yeah, Speed Racer I, fan. I watched it when I was a kid. Uh -huh. Anyway, we do have plenty to go. You get a cool little bag. So we have a little bit of dinner tonight. Yeah. 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 But first, donuts. We made it to a Trails Coffee and Donuts. Less than five miles away on the corner of Highland and Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll see it right on the corner, Trejo's Coffee and Donuts. It is a bright pink building Yes. on the corner. It cannot be missed. You can't. Yeah, we're going to go inside and see. This is our first time here, yeah. you know, so it smells like donuts. It does. Here. And I know he has his even specialty coffee, too. Oh, yeah. So None of that, but out. we saw a sign right there. They also have breakfast burritos. Wow. It's yeah. a little bit different. But no burritos on this trip. Just donuts. Yeah, that's right. And maybe something to drink. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hey, Thank you. Look at that. Oh, look. This is Christopher's favorite donut mm -hmm. rolls. Look. Quinceanera, mm -hmm. margarita, lime glaze. Oh wow! Cumpleaños. There, so they have all different kinds: pineapple fritter, coco loco, coconut, cinnamon crumbles. What do we have? Oh, just regular OG glazed donuts. Mm -hmm. Abuelita. Oh, that's your favorite drink, right? Mm -hmm. And look at in the back, it looks like a maple glazed of some sort. It looks like bacon on top of those. Oh yeah, I see it. So here is their menu. Shows all the different type of donuts that they have and as well as coffee. And of course they have some uh, some little tchotchkes over here, some hats you can get. And he has his own coffee up there. Oh yeah. Cookbook and the coffee. Right there. Oh yeah. So there's no, uh, there's a little bit of bar seating inside here. That's mm -hmm. it. Uh, countertop seating. Yes, there is. Okay. 
We're gonna get um, one cumpleaños, uh, one margarita, and one coco loco, one quinceanera. Is that a maple bacon in the back? Yes, yeah, one maple bacon and an abuelita. abuelita. Is that six? Okay, and then All I'm gonna right. get a little small pack, the 12 pack of donut holes. We picked our own half dozen. I sort of kind of remember what we got. So we got here, this is the margarita. It has lime on it. This is the quinceanera, which is looks like maybe like fruity pebbles. Yeah, fruity pebbles, something. yeah. This is the maple bacon. This is the abuelita, coconut, and the cumpleaños, the birthday one. Yes. So all different flavors. These actually look delicious. I got the cortado. It reminds me of Miami. So the, what the cortado is, is just espresso, at least the Miami way is espresso with sugar underneath with a little bit of milk. I'm going to enjoy this one. Now I got, got the uh, limited edition trails tacos water this is a aluminum can it's very cold so i think it'll go with the donut perfectly look at that so this cup it's a white cup and then they put this little sleeve on top so it makes it a tray host cup yeah nice let's try this out yep it's a little bit lighter i'm used to that really good bite the espresso has in miami so the espresso is very light, but he made it on point with the sugar and a little bit of milk. It's delicious. We did get uh, also a dozen mm -hmm. of those donut holes for to take home. Yeah, for Christopher because uh, he's a donut hole kind of guy. But let's uh, let's see which one I want to try. You know, I want to try this this Coco Loco. Mm -hmm. oh, nice and light. I love the toasted coconuts on top. Let's go for a little bite. I like it. This is your classic donut. Nice and fluffy on the inside. It is not too heavy or too cakey. It's the right amount. I love the toasted coconuts on top. It has that nice little sweetness to it. And I think it's some kind of little white glaze that the toasted coconuts are sticking to. Yeah, this is really good. I like that one a lot. Next on deck for me is that cumpleaños. It's the birthday, right? Mm -hmm. Birthday one? Yeah. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> this is really good. The red is, um, I don't think it has like a, it, it's not like strawberry. It's not like strawberry or cherry, nothing like that. It just has a nice little sweet glaze to it. But this is, this is a fun donut and it's, on the sweeter side, it's delicious. This is the margarita, lime margarita, I'm guessing. <laughs> this is the most surprising donut I've ever had, ever. It is a 180 from that red birthday donut. This is lime, it is kind of margarita sour-ish. I'm missing a little bit of salt on the outer rim of this donut. This tastes like a margarita. Of course, it doesn't have any tequila in it, but minus the tequila, this is a margarita donut. This is surprisingly delicious. Wow. Now, I know you're going to only review three. You gotta take a bite of this. Okay, babe. This is the most unique donut I've ever had. I love it. Here is the abuelita donut. As right now, I can feel this donut and it feels very soft. Let's try this out. A delicious donut. As you can see inside, it's very light tasting. It is a chocolate, but it's not a heavy chocolate flavor. It's really that really good Mexican chocolate, and I taste a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. That little bit of salt really brings out that chocolatey flavor. This is a very good donut. So it is not your typical regular chocolate donut? It's not. 
this one is the maple a bacon donut they had some maple donuts too but i saw the last two in the back that had bacon on it i'm gonna try this one out first thing I noticed actually is when this donut right before I took a bite you can smell that maple mm. in it a delicious maple sweet side but a sweet maple not like a sugar maple and with that piece of that bacon on there and the bacon tastes like it's caramelized it really brings out that with salty and that sweet this is definitely a savory donut and I've tried a lot on maple bacon donuts and this is the winner oh Even really places who specialize in maple bacon this is the winner I think it's that caramelization of that bacon this is delicious this one is like a uh, quinceanera this is like a fruity pebble donut it's called the quinceanera donut let's try this one out what's nice is these little fruity pebbles are still very crunchy and this really tastes like a rainbow in your mouth you can taste the flavors just pop in there lots of flavors of a little bit of lime a little bit of strawberry oh yeah this is really you know how the skittles one taste the rainbow in this one you're really tasting that rainbow so you gotta try that i gotta margarita. try this one out the yeah. margarita donut this donut is a winner winner Ma margarita donut dinner <laughs> but this is delicious mm. a little hint of sweet you can taste that tartness i do baby need a little bit of salt right here right mm -hmm. it'll match all the flavors very evenly this is a delicious donut yeah so, very unique yeah. i'd say all of these donuts are delicious. This one's the most unique. Oh, I'd just come here and get a dozen of these and take them to a party. You'll be the life of the party with these margarita donuts. It would. You could no. take it to a, a work party and, it, and it's legal. Yeah. Uh, check out, check this out. Best donuts in Los Angeles from LA Weekly. Uh, you know what? Maybe. Maybe. I really like the, the donuts that I tasted. When I get home, I'll try the other three. Yeah. But I know they're going to be just as good. And what's different about these donuts is they really taste different than any other donuts that we've had. That's right. They uh, do. Baby, they know? do. Yeah. So that's going to wrap up our Danny, Danny Trails experience from the tacos to all of the other Mexican food mm -hmm. to his donuts and mm -hmm. coffee. Which everything was excellent. Mm -hmm. Donuts, again, are a little pricey, but they're delicious. And again, I've never had these donuts anywhere else, so it's not like any other donut you've tasted. So no, you gotta no. try and these. Yeah, these yeah, very donuts. unique. Yeah. You have any uh, shout outs? I then? do. Uh, Bill and Kristen, happy anniversary. Daryl, happy 60th birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Daryl. Uh, he's the he's my cruiser. He's like my cruising buddy that yes. we see. Oh, I haven't met him actually, but we yeah. you know, we always talk about cruises. Long time uh, viewer. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Tim and Lena Lay. Nisha, yes. Lanisha, happy anniversary, happy birthday Lisa, happy birthday Sunny, Steve, happy birthday, Letty, happy birthday, Angela, happy birthday, mm -hmm. Edward Cooper, Beast, I think that's yes, going to be his the name, beast, right? Right. Um, happy birthday, Will and Iris, best wishes to your little baby Bella, yes, hopefully yes. she's doing well, we hope so too, and Edley, thank you so much for watching, yes, Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, happy birthday and uh, happy anniversary, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for yeah, watching. Of course, These of course. are a lot of fun little semi local eats or just in LA, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you could definitely repeat what we did. Yeah. Uh, we have the addresses uh, mm -hmm. and the website in the description below, so mm -hmm. check it out. Yep. So until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys in the next one.